Hey guys, with uh, my upcoming uh, surgery, I need the cash. It's a pretty big uh, sum, around 20k. And uh, the option that I have is to sell some of my gear. But this doesn't have to be necessarily just a bad thing. I want to turn this into a positive tool. I want to make a couple of videos with the gear that I will sell, do like mini reviews and why I am selling them the good, the bad and the ugly of those pieces of gear. Before jumping into the video, I want to say that I am really grateful and moved by all the comments I've received on my previous video. Thanks for your love, for the support. I appreciate it. If I will need help, I know that I can ask from uh, this point on because of how you showed me I was uh, worth it, let's call it. Thank you for that. Today I will talk about the first one that I've decided uh, to sell and that's the Impressor. Let's get uh, a couple of things out of the way. This is the, the Impressor. I believe that this is the best versatile hardware compressor. This is the closest you can get to a plugin in the analog uh, realm. Why I am selling it? The number one thing is uh, lack of uh, sidechain. I got this entire setup to process stems mostly. So the lack of sidechain is a big one for me. Believe me or not, that's the only negative uh, to the compressor. No sidechain. It does have external sidechain, but then the setup will uh, increase in cost and increase in complexity. Let me present you the impressor. A stereo compressor. We have on off and a link button. We have two nice meters that shows the gain reduction. Both sides of the compressors are identical. When in linked, we control the compressor with the left side, except gain, EQ gain and EQ frequency. Other than that, you can just use the left side when uh, you are doing uh, stereo processing. Threshold, attack, release, ratio. EQ gain, EQ frequencies, gain uh, reduction limit and gain. I want to mention just a couple of the strengths of the compressor. For example, we have negative ratio and that can create really interesting effects. Then we have a uh, gain reduction limit. With this, we can limit the gain reduction amount that we are doing no matter of the threshold uh, settings. Another thing that I really love about this compressor is this filter section. We have EQ gain and EQ frequency. This is similar to a uh, tilt filter. We have the midpoint of the EQ and this goes from 26 Hz to 2.2K and then we can X10 it. So 260 up to 22K, which is a great range to work with. And then we have the EQ gain which will shift the tilt basically. That's the compressor, those are the controls. Now I wanna play with it on a drum loop. The drum loop sounds like this. First, let's play with the filter and you will hear instantly why I love it. This can also be used in a creative way for filtering, for adding back things that you lost when uh, compressing. And this is when boosting the top end. Now let's go the other way around.
it's really easy to add more body to a drum loop like this after the compressor. Let's uh, start playing with the compression. And this is a really versatile compressor, like I've said. You can achieve anything from distorted to punchy to controlled. It's a beast when it comes to anything and everything compression uh, related. For example, with a sound like this, I have the option on my uh, VSM to blend the signal with the original one. So parallel compression. I will engage that right now. Let's see if we can achieve a different sound out of the impressor. Now let's say that we love this uh, compression movement, but we think it's uh, too much. We can just activate the gain uh, reduction limit. The gain reduction limit acts like uh, wet dry blend where you decide how much of the compression effect you actually want Another great uh, feature of the Impressor is the Auto Fast button. With this, we can let the compressor react slowly without getting that uh, pumping effect. But when we engage the Auto Fast, the compressor catches all the peaks. You can hear that no matter how fast are the peaks, the compressor catches everything, which is pretty crazy.
Now on the release, we also have a button called anti-logarithmic. With this, you can change the release curve. And for me, with this engaged, the compressor sounds smoother. It's suited for mastering, two bus processing and stem processing. Let me show you how that sounds. So a really smooth curve on the release helps with achieving a different sort of movement with the compression action. Another great feature on the impressor is the fact that it has negative ratios. You can see that we have ratios from 1.2 to minus 4. With negative ratios we can achieve really crazy effects uh well suited for modern genres house music trap This can be used, like you are hearing right now, to change the groove of a sample, drum loop, anything that you have in mind. It's really great for creative uh, purposes. extreme with the settings but using the gain reduction limit function just to make sure that I still retain the original sound.
And these are just a couple of things that you can do with the impressor. Probably the most powerful compressor when it comes to versatility. It has so many functions. It has so many uses. It's almost like a plugin in the analog domain, which is crazy. Nothing comes even close to what this compressor is uh, about. Why I am selling it, if it's so amazing, I wish I wasn't in the position to sell any of my gear. But with a compressor like this, it's on the clean side. I can get close to what I can achieve with it with plugins. It takes me longer, uh, it's not that fun, but it's, uh, let's call it, small to medium benefit of uh, using it uh, for mixing and for mastering. So this was the impressor. You will probably find it on Reverb really soon. If you are in Europe and you wanna buy it, it's uh, going to be there in the upcoming week or so, I believe. Thanks for the support and uh, see you guys uh, really, really soon. Cheers.